Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing a project which is called React LM, and it's designed to run large language models in the browser using WebGPU as it's an easy to use headless React hook project. Now, the term headless in this context refers to the ability to use React hooks without a visible user interface. Now, instead of the focus of leveraging the power of LMs to perform natural language processing tasks in the actual browser, this approach, however, offers a flexible as well as a more controllable way for developers who want to incorporate LMs in their web applications. And you can see there's this live demo right here that shows what this project actually does. You're able to host it off of this website. And this is an easy way to run by Kuna B at, for example, this large language model, as well as different other models that which you can talk to on the web browser front. Now, this is an easy way for you to access different LLMs on the web browser front. So this will be quite amazing as to what you can do, as well as how you can build on top of this. Now, in today's video, we're going to be showing you guys how you can access this application, as well as going through some of the extensions that are associated with this overall actual application now guys we're also going to talk a little bit about the features as well as some of the other things about this project so before we actually get into the gist of this video guys if you guys haven't followed make sure you follow my uh twitter page and uh, i'm going to be posting a lot of different ai news as well as a lot of different content on the ai world on this twitter page so definitely give it a follow and turn on the notification bell as i'll definitely update you guys on the newest uploads now if you guys haven't subscribed guys it would mean the whole world to me if you guys can do so if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos you should definitely do so as there's a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from so please subscribe like this video comment anything you want to see and with that thought let's get right into the video so the main goal of a react lm or a headless one in this case with this project is to simplify the process of running LLMs in a React application. And this is by providing a set of intuitive React hooks. Now the hooks are abstracts away from complexity that allows it to interact with LLMs. And from this, you're able to get people or as well as users, developers to focus on building their application via this application that they provided. Now, another thing that I wanted to talk about is how web GPU is incorporated with this project. As we know, Web GPU, I've actually covered it many times in some other previous videos where I talk about some other Chrome extensions as well as applications. And in those cases, I explained that Web GPU is more of a low level API for rendering graphics as well as performing parallel computation as well on the web. It basically provides a more efficient and a more prominent way to like leverage the power of a user's GPU. And this is for tasks like running LMs. And this is what the actual project has done in terms of utilizing web GPU to run this application as well as this UI. So this is a great way that they've been actually able to incorporate that actual feature into this overall application. Now, by utilizing these hooks, as we talked about before, users can actually integrate LM capabilities into, into their own actual project. Now, this includes tasks such as like text generation, language translation, sentiment analysis, question answering, and different things that you would definitely do with an LM. Now, the, what the project is trying to aim to like achieve is that you're trying to provide a seamless as well as an efficient way to leverage the power of different LLMs without requesting extensive knowledge of low level GPU programming or complex LLM frameworks. You don't want to like take in the time to utilize different types of tokens to get you the best results. In this case, you can use open source applications like Vicuna 13B, as well as other free LLMs that will help you provide the actual data sets as well as the leveraging those LMs to give you the power to operate this application. So let's now take a look at some of the features that this application provides. One of the first ones is it's easy to use React hooks. Now, what this means is that the project provides a set of React hooks that basically makes it simple for developers to integrate LMs capabilities into their React application. Now, these hooks are abstract away from the complexity of integrating LMs, which basically allows anyone to focus on this application's logic. Now, another one is that it supports Vicuna 13B, which is an open source LM and it allows different people to contribute to the actual application as well as the LM in different ways as it's a community driven project. Now, an headless operation is another feature, which basically means that 
you can be able to use this application without a viable user interface. Now this makes it useful for like scenario, scenarios where the focus of leveraging LMs for natural language processing tasks are rather than displaying results in a traditional UI. Now another great thing about this application is that there is no data that is left behind. It's completely stored within the acceleration through the process of WebGPU. Now this basically means that no data like it's going to be securely saved and no data will be like sent to a server or anything so your data as well as whatever conversations you have on this uh, ui is going to be stored simply within the cache of google chrome now another thing i wanted to talk about before we actually get into the gist of this application is its new feature as well as extension now this is incorporated with the actual repo and you can, this is just like an add on to what you can do with this overall application. It's not associated with this application, but it's an add on as to what you can do as well as running a, like a whole LM through an actual extension. To be honest, you can actually make a whole video on this, but this is just something that they've incorporated as the contributors have added to this whole repo. I just saw this on Twitter and it was actually correlated with React LLM. So I wanted to actually emphasize this because it's an open source Chrome extension in which you can actually run an LM entirely on the browser. Now, this is incorporated with different large language models such as like Vicuna B, as well as based off of Llama, which is another large language model. And it shows that you're able to run these models entirely within the Chrome extension, which we can see over here. You can see that from this extension, you just pop it up open and you can ask it different things as well as ask for different assistance with this large language model now with the vicuna 13b model and specifically uh you're able to tune the variants of llama and this is what they've incorporated with this project as it's designed to provide a more powerful nlp like capabilities for this overall project now by integrating these two different models uh, you can like leverage its advanced capabilities and you can do different things like give it prompts, have it ask different questions, as well as incorporate certain things that will help you give help you like achieve your overall like objective that you give it. Now this is one of the cool things that I wanted to talk about as it's a cool feature as to what they're trying to accomplish. In my opinion, this is a whole different project compared to what React LM is, but you get the same idea of it. It's a headless LM that is not like locally download it on your desktop this is something that's run entirely off of what uh the web front uh, off of web gpu as well as chrome so this is quite amazing as to what matt has done who is one of the main contributors of this project and if you really want to download this you can actually do so on this link i'll give you this extension download link in the description below what you can do is to install you can go to the release tab which we are on right here and you can download the latest extension file and then you have to go on Chrome and go to the Chrome extensions. You have to enable developer mode and click on load unpack. And this way you're able to select this file that we downloaded. And you're from there, you're able to download this application and extension on this Chrome GPU or not Chrome GPU, but on this Chrome actual like browser. So from this, you can actually do a lot of different things and utilize Llama extension tool for different use cases on your extensions. All right, let's actually get to the gist of playing around with this application now. So there's a couple tabs I want you to take a look at. You have the different conversations that you have saved over here, which is completely saved off of the Google cache. So it's not going to be actually saved onto your uh, onto any server or anything. So don't worry about that. You're going to be able to have conversations privately stored off of the actual Google cache data. Now you can also have different conversations named. In this case, I named uh something like this a conversation as sa convo you can play around with the system prompts in this case they have it a chat between a curious user and an ai chat bot named smart child so you can play around with this and get different abbreviations as well as different generations with what you try to input now you can play around with this and you can change stuff up with the system prompt in my case i'm not going to be doing anything with it as i'm just going to be showcasing what you can do with this project now in terms of some of the options you can play around with how the actual conversation outputs different screen names as well as what the actual system prompt is which we talked about over here 
you have different settings in which you can reload a model delete conversations play around with the token size uh, on this case it's not it's gonna be free because it's not utilizing any type of tokens so that's the great thing about this if you want to actually play around with how an output is generated in terms of its like context or size of the actual output you can play around with certain things in the setting over here now let's actually play around with what we can do with this application you can like we can actually say uh write me a topic on what react or that might be too advanced on what lycuna 13b is and what you can do is you can send it over here you got beautiful uh like sounds as well as a pretty cool ui in my opinion this is something like you see from like the windows xp era or even before that now it might take a little bit long but you're gonna be able to see that it will start generating the content over here and you can even save this onto your local desktop as well as export the data that is given from this prompt over here now let's see what it generates once it is able to give you something i'll be right back Alright guys, so I kind of went back and changed it up a little bit. I gave it just a simple prompt because this thing is taking a little bit too long as it's using your own GPU's computational power to run it. So I, I don't know why it's taking forever. Maybe it's just my browser or something about my computer that's not be able to make it run fast enough. But you get the gist of it, of how you're able to run it and i'll leave all the links down in the description below but that's basically it for today's video on react lm guys in summary this is an amazing project that simplifies the process of running lms in the browser by providing an easy to use react hooks as well as leveraging web gpu and this is for like efficiently processing different lms on the web front i'll hope also hope you found this other extension to be quite useful for you guys as you can incorporate lms straight to the actual chrome extensions and what this will do guys is running these two applications you're able to access lms quite easily instead of running it locally on your desktop so i hope you found this video quite helpful guys if you guys haven't followed definitely do so guys i'm going to be posting a lot of content a lot of value on the twitter actual front as well as posting a lot of videos so make sure you do subscribe turn on the notification bell and like this video guys as it will definitely help the algorithm out and with that thought guys thank you so much for watching Hope you have an amazing day. Have a bright smile, guys. Spread positivity, and I'll catch you guys very shortly. Peace out, fellas.